In the side panel, you will find different options on how to customize your logo. You can type in the logo text, which will be displayed if no logo image has been picked, or select the logo image from your media library. We recommend uploading a logo in the SVG image format for best quality on all screens. But you can also use a PNG or a JPEG image in a high resolution so that the logo looks sharp on all displays. Pick your logo and click Select. And as you can see, the logo text disappears and the logo image appears. Of course, you can set the width and the height for your image. If you have selected an SVG logo, as in my case, you can inject it into the page markup so it adopts the text color automatically. This is useful if pages have a different background, for example, if one page is white and another one is dark. Let's go to a page with a dark background. And as you can see here, my logo automatically changed its color to light. The inline SVG option will apply to all SVG logos. If you have a PNG or a JPEG image, you can select an optional inverse logo with inverse color, for example white. The inverse logo will be displayed automatically if needed. By default, the logo is displayed on all devices, but you can also select an optional mobile logo for the mobile header. The mobile logo will replace the default logo on smaller screens. Here, we recommend to upload a simplified logo that leaves out unnecessary details to fit best on mobile devices. Of course, the mobile logo has its own width and height options. Just like with the default logo, there is an optional mobile inverse logo. And finally, you can select a dialog logo. This one will be shown in the dialog layouts for both header and mobile header. In our case, let's select the mobile logo. Of course, the dialog logo has its own width and height options.